Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to the first of the newly relaunched Q&A session videos. Now, I published a video a few days back saying that the Q&A videos are coming back and the response has been amazing. So thank you for all of your comments and also thank you for your questions as well. I've got so many questions to go through and today's question comes from Yellow Labrador. Hi Dave, I have a lace making channel and video close-ups of my hands working. Often the thread I use is as thin as sewing thread. I'm using the Canon Legria HFR306 and only film with natural daylight. Any camera and lighting recommendations? That is a fantastic question and I've got a few suggestions for you. The first one is assuming that your current camera, the Cam Canon Legria HFR306, is satisfactory. So let's assume that that records in 1080p HD resolution and that you're happy with your camera. So if that's the case, I would really look at the lighting of your videos and I would buy a couple of medium size LED lights. I would normally recommend the aperture range of LED lights. I'll leave some links down in the video description for you. And the reason I say get a couple of these is that if you can mount them either side of where you're working and just experiment with the angle of the lights, you might find that you actually catch the threads that you're using a little bit better. And assuming that your camera picks up enough detail, that will result in a much better quality video. Lighting is key. More often than not, I would say investing lighting before you invest in a new camera. Now, let's assume that that doesn't solve your situation. You know, you're still not getting the detail that you want. Now, I think the only other way of doing things is to look at new cameras. And I would either look at a video camera with a good macro mode, or if you've got the budget, go for something with interchangeable lenses. So you could go for perhaps a Panasonic GF7 or a Panasonic G7, or even if your budget allows a Panasonic GH4. And then you could buy a macro lens for it. And when you're doing your close-up work, you could manually focus on where those threads are and make sure that all the detail is picked up for your videos. So I hope that helps. There's a few different suggestions for you then. It really does depend on how much budget you want to throw at this. But as I say before at the beginning of this video, if you're happy with your current Canon camera, then definitely experiment with lighting first. You don't necessarily have to purchase these aperture lights. You could even just try with a couple of standard table lamps, get some daylight bulbs for them, and just try with different positions of the lighting. That might save you some money, and then you can invest in a new camera later on. So thanks very much for your question. If you've got any new questions, please do leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next one.